So you all see this big earth right here? Isn't it pretty? It's where we live, right? Isn't it pretty? Change it. Boom. <laughs> this is what it's going to look like if we don't change our climate crisis right now. So here's the thing, what I'm going to be talking about today is specifically in the Netherlands, but us in general, how we should be addressing the climate change crisis right now and what we should be doing specific, specifically with renewable energy technologies. Change that. So my topic was technology in the Netherlands, but I decided to focus mainly in environmental technology. And it's mainly because the Netherlands are known for their windmills, but they haven't really progressed as, as of lately. And it's something that is an entire world problem as of right now, so it's a big current event that's going on. So does anybody know what renewable technology is? Anybody can give me a definition? So it's, it's not as detrimental to the environment than like say fossil fuels are. So that's why I'm focusing so much on renewable energy because it's a very positive way that we can change our environment. It's a very easy way to do it and that's what people don't realize. They'll mostly give you the impression like, oh, it's too hard or oh, it's too expensive. But really when you look at it in the long run, it's what we should be doing. So, so here's a fact. Studies have shown that making a switch to renewable energy could lower the fossil fuel bill by almost $700 billion a year and create over 1 million jobs in coming decades. And this is a fact shown everywhere when you look at renewable energy technologies. And it's because it's been proven that the more we make these renewable energy technologies, the more jobs we'll have. And in the long run, we're gonna be saving a lot more money than we are with using fossil fuels. So the Netherlands have really <laughs> done bad with their energy, as you can see, energy production, especially in the European Union itself, they're one of the lowest. So when you look at the world completely, you really can't even see them on the spectrum because they're not really making an impact. And although the Netherlands is a pretty small country, they're still not making the impact they need to to even reach their goal. So you can see here that this is their target and they still haven't reached that and that target was made about like five years ago. So you can see as other countries, mainly most of them have already reached their target by now and we haven't even hit 2020. So why aren't we doing it? <coughs> so mainly it's lifestyle because most of you think like, oh, I want to change like my lifestyle for the environment. I don't want to use metal straws every day. Right? I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to build a windmill in my backyard. But people don't think it's, people think it's that hard and it's really not that hard if you just make the small changes like recycling or just the little things matter in the long run. You see all over Twitter like, don't kill the turtles, but just the little things actually matter. So people think it's like just going to ruin their lives if they do this and they give the money to where they should be giving it to. Another thing is timing and the amount. So the timing, it does take a long time to create these, but once you look at the entire time span, it's really worth it because once you're done, these last for about 20 to 30 years. And then if they're putting more money into this, they could get better ones and those could last up to 50 years and you're saving a bunch of money and then you don't have to run out of fossil fuels. So the amount of energy you're gonna be getting in the long run is a lot more than you're gonna be getting for fossil fuels because those will run out in the next, like say, 30 years. And then the cost. A lot of people don't wanna put the cost in because it's very expensive, but like I said, they don't realize that in the end they're gonna be getting a lot of their money back because putting that money into fossil fuels is very expensive and using renewable energy technologies once you put it down there and you put the money into it, you don't have to put more money into it for the next like 20 years. So what are we supposed to do? What are the options that we need? So some of the renewable energy technologies are solar power, wind power, hydropower. Solar power specifically, of course, most of you know what that is. You put solar panels on like the outside of your house, outside your building, and you just leave them there and that is gonna take the sun in and turn that into energy. Hydropower is a little bit different. You're having big dams collect that flow of water and the flow of water gives you energy. And then wind power, which is more commonly known in the Netherlands and what is 
usually more used besides solar power, those, the wind turns the, um, the blades and that turns into energy. So, see? <laughs> the Netherlands should be specifically using wind power because they're by their 2030 goal that they wanted to set, they want to cut carbon emissions in half. And by what they're doing now, they really can't do that without wind power. And with the amount of space that they have in their country, they could really do that easily with the amount of land and offshore land, like um, islands or even in the sea, which I'll be talking about later on, they could make uh, hundreds of offshore wind farms that could really benefit their country. And then history, like I said, they're really known for their uh, windmills. So you could even Airbnb in a windmill. So they're really popular and anywhere you go in the Netherlands, you'll really find them anywhere. So it's very, it's really benefiting them, but they haven't really done anything lately. So the current event or something that's been really talked about, the North Sea Wind Power Hub, I talked a little bit about it um, a couple months ago, but there's two Dutch companies, they're putting in money um, for not only themselves, the Netherlands, but a bunch of other countries to create a big windmill farm of 10 million, um, what is it, 10 million? Yeah, 10,000 10, wind turbines in the middle of the sea so they can get um, energy for their eight surrounding countries and the Netherlands included. So it's not only benefiting them, but it is benefiting the world. Unfortunately, the U.S. isn't a part of this, so it's something that we need to like consider as an option for us, since mainly we are like the face of this um, march and change. So this plan was proposed to the EU lately, but it has not really gone anywhere because of lack of funding and attention to the process so that's what we need to really be focusing on and then doing this can allow smarter and faster ways to approach environmental sustainability and this is really something i want to push because wind power is really easy to make and it's something that isn't really hard to keep up with over time and once you put it down it's going to be there for a really long time it's going to be there for decades and you won't have to touch it again So as Greta Thunberg said, we love her, the real one, she said, I don't want your hope, I want you to be hopeful. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to panic as if the house is on fire. And I really like this quote because she's really making it known that it's time-based. And if we don't start now, like I showed you in the beginning, our country is gonna see these detrimental changes in our country and you'll be seeing them already. So if we don't make a change now, you're obviously gonna see Questions or comments? 